been underway at the site of a future industrial park in Savannah. WSAB Sarah Smith attended the groundbreaking today. She joins us now with how this will help the Georgia Ports Authority operate more efficiently. Thank you, Ben. This industrial park will take up more than 1,000 acres, the largest in Savannah. It is called the Central Port Logistics Center, and it is conveniently under 15-minute drive to the Port of Savannah, which serves 44% of the U.S. population. It's the proximity to the port that is just a tremendous competitive advantage, both for capital development partners, all their tenants here on the property. The future site of the Central Port Logistics Center is just seven miles from the Georgia Ports Authority. For the supply chains, this is an incredibly valuable asset. Building one is a cross dock building. The second, Building 11, is a CSX rail service building designed to serve the plastic, resin, and paper exporters. An interchange off Veterans Parkway has been added to make the drive to and from the port easier. John Porter, CEO of Capital Development Partners Incorporated, says this park should not directly impact the residential area. This interchange is only meant for industrial locations, so there's no, going to be no residents that will be there. So it'll efficiently get these trucks on that road into that port without having it intermingle with, with, uh, with the public uh, traffic, and that's the big key to it right there. Cliff Pyron, CCO of the Georgia Ports Authority, says no other port in the United States is growing like they are, and the new logistics center helps them do just that. The Georgia Ports currently has about $2 billion in CapEx projects going on right now as we speak. And over the next 12 years, they're going to spend about $4.5 billion. So we're continuing to build an enterprise that is unique and scalable. This new park also bringing almost 1,500 jobs to the southeast once completed. Private supply chain growth such as you see here today really perfectly complements everything that we're doing at the GPA to make sure that we're building an enterprise not just for today, but more importantly for uh, tomorrow. Now the first two buildings are expected to be completed by summer 2024 and there is 5 million square feet of land still left to build on. Sarah Smith, WSAV News 3, on your side.